Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve is always sigmoid. This curve actually shows how effectively oxyhemoglobin releases oxygen to tissue cells. Oxyhemoglobin means oxygen bound hemoglobin. So here is the graph in a x axis we can see that it is the partial pressure of oxygen and in the y axis it is the hemoglobin saturation with oxygen and this black curve this is the normal curve. We can see that this is the right shift that is the green curve. So here it is actually oxygen affinity of hemoglobin is reduced. That means the oxygen from the hemoglobin is dissociated. That means more oxygen is available to tissues. This is the left shift that is the red colored graph. So here it is the oxygen affinity of hemoglobin is increased. That means more oxygen is associated with the hemoglobin. That means the less oxygen is available to tissues. We will see certain factors which can shift the oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve. Okay, first is the oxygen pressure. If the oxygen pressure is less, it shifts curve to the right. Next is carbon dioxide pressure. If the carbon dioxide pressure is high, it shifts curve to the right. Next is temperature. High temperature always shifts curve to the right. pH of the blood. If the blood is acidic, that means it has a low pH, it shifts curve to the right. 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate or 2,3-BPG. If the 2,3 BPG concentration is high, it shifts curve to the right. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.